Hi crafty friends, it's Audra Monk the Crafty Yogi and welcome to the Crafty Corner and a little Monday night crafting. Um, I hope you had a great weekend. So let me refresh things and hope that I pressed all the correct buttons and as you join me say hello if you're here live. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube or um, Facebook later, let me know then too. Totally fine, totally fun. All right. Oh, there I am. Hooray. All right. So it is Monday, August 16th, 2021. So that date's important when it applies to any specials, any classes that I'm personally offering. Um, but the card making, you know, you can always substitute other products. Although I, of course, think you should buy these, but you know, you do what's right um, for you. And I hope that I can just inspire you to be crafty because I think it's super fun and something we should all do. So welcome. All right, so the beginning, I'm gonna to talk to you about our specials in my classes, and then we'll make a little um, project or two using, um, hold on, I always forget the name. It's called Blackberry Beauty Collection because the paper wasn't available for uh, US demonstrators to order for a while, and so mine just came today. So let's jump down to the desk. Let's see if I can do all this right. All right, there we go. And then we're gonna go like, and there we go hi my friends all right so if you don't already know it is celebration with stampin up and this means um well it's two things with stampin up our mini catalog just started i know it says july but due to shipping issues because of covid we actually only started in august um but our holiday mini catalog has started and we have celebration, which is, they could change the date on that. It's August through the end of September, where when you spend $50, you earn free products. And I thank you for everyone who's been ordering. It makes me so happy when I get those little emails. So-and-so has placed an order. And well, one, I'm excited people are buying things from me. But two, I'm excited that you're going to get those things. And I love seeing what you pick as your free item. So um, if you have questions about that and need to know more or you need catalogs, let me know. All right. Next up, let me show you this suite. Oh, no. Let me not show you this week. First, let me talk about my um, classes. Tomorrow, or no, today, today, but if it's by tomorrow morning, it'll work, is the last day to RSVP for my Christmas Just Cards to Go kit. You'll get the supplies to make two of each card. Aren't they pretty? And you just need to add your um, stamp, your greeting, and your ink and adhesive. And I used all of these. Let's see if I still have it right here. Maybe I don't. Ah, here it is. All of these greetings are from the Christmas to Remember set. So if you need a good uh, Christmas greeting set, this one is great. It's beautiful. I like a mix of fonts. I like lots of long, skinny ones. Um, and then there's some bigger ones, too. I like this Have a Holly Jolly Christmas. I think that's really pretty. So hey, Barbara. So if you would like this class, you just need to pay um, tonight or early tomorrow morning. i got to go teach a yoga class. So as long as it's by like 10 a.m. or 11, I will get you on my list. And then I will cut a pack of cards for you and send them to you. Or you can pick them up here. All right. The next class, which the RSVP is by next week, although I only have four left, is my, um, I'm calling this the Sunflower Banner. The focal point is the big thing, this truck and um, the sunflower. So I kept the other elements pretty simple. And actually, I'm going to show you um, this die set I use. But there's little jars and cute little pennants. And it all goes on a piece of um, twine. And you can hang it on your bookcase. You can hang it on your fireplace. Um, I, I don't know. I think it's really pretty. So I worked with Marilyn Stampers on this. Um, yes. So it's super cute. And I love, look at these sunflower dyes. This is in the annual catalog. Sunflowers are what happens the end of mid-August to September. And I just think they're super fun. So if you want this class, I only have four kits left. Okay, so now we can get rid of that too. Um, all right, I'll set it over here. All right, so now let's talk about, did I say hi, Don? Hi, Don, in case I missed it. <laughs> Like I said it mentally, but I'm not sure if I said it out loud. Um, we're going to talk about the Blackberry Beauty Suite because, as I said, I couldn't get the paper. So I kind of held off and I didn't really get anything. And then um, I can't, I'm not quite to the stage where I would order every single thing because if I don't think I'll use it, I, I usually don't uh, get it. Um, and I have to pick and choose a little bit. And so there were two uh, fall 
what I call, you know, late September, early fall, whatever, late August, early fall sets. There was this Beauty of Tomorrow, which I did not get, but then there was also the Harvest Meadow, which I did get, which I showed you. Actually, I used these die cuts um, on my little banner. So I think this stamp set and dies will go great. And I think these, the any of these, um, what do you call these? embellishments and accessories would also go great with this Blackberry Beauty. But I'm gonna show you what I got of it. Hi, Cindy, welcome. So, and if you ordered my paper share, I will be cutting the paper um, this week um, for that. And if anybody, I have two paper shares left, so if anybody would like a paper share, um, you can, did I post it as an event? I'm not sure, I know I sent it in an email, but you could ask me, you get a uh, cut six by six, bagged up, labeled, the all the DSP and then there's also the option of all the special paper um, and then you'll get some of the free paper but anyway I do have two paper shares left so if you want one uh, let me know but I'll be cutting paper this week for it and labeling it up so there's this beautiful gold ribbon it's nice and soft what do they call it mm, it just says gold how descriptive Ah, gold shimmer ribbon. There we go. Gold shimmer ribbon. So there's some ribbon. And there is the beautiful paper. Let me get this paper out. I actually made one card and was playing around with it. Oh. Ooh, and this is the gold shimmer paper or gold vellum. I don't know exactly what it's called. Let me look. It is called, yep. Oh, it's called gold shimmer vellum. So I had all the words, just maybe not in the right order. It's really pretty. There's two sheets that come in that pack. Um, I cut off a little piece. I used it on something. But it's really got a little bit of shine to it, and it's a nice little vellum. Okay, well, I'm going to put that put that back here. Then, hold on, we'll talk about this part in a second. The paper. Ooh, actually, except I lost a little guy. Ooh, and I bent it. Oh, my. Okay, so don't store that in your paper bin unless you're a little bit more careful. Hold your horses. Oh, no, that goes on that side. Okay. Oh, I see. It goes over here. Do, do, do. All right, we're gonna maybe need to put that on a card. So the paper is super pretty. This is, um, it's a specialty paper in that it's metallic. Like, look at this piece. All we have to do is cut this and put a cute little um, embellishment and a sentiment on it and we are good to go. So one side has gold accents. I love this owl. Now see, if they would have put that owl in the stamp set, I would have bought it. I know he's upside down. But he's really pretty and I'll show you him bigger all right let's look I love this one with the leaves there's that one oops and here's there I think there's one more okay it's hard because I had already pre-cut some so this side has all oh you can see it in the video look at all that sparkle it's so pretty and then when we flip it over there's some nice patterns there and um, it's really nice paper it's super nice okay I love this paper right here. All right, and those are my pieces. So there is the DSP, which is super, super nice. If you, and especially if you like these um, definite like gold embellishment, whatever, the gold accents and the dark colors. It's, the colors are Blackberry Bliss, Cinnamon Cider, Early Espresso, Polished Pink, and Rich Razzleberry. Where's the pink? Oh, I see in the owl. Okay, and then there was this Emephra. I, I can't ever say that word right. Um, and I think it might be a Mephra pack, and that's where this little guy fell out of. And there are two sheets of each, but look at this owl. I'm telling you, I mean, of course, I know Stampin' Up! is experts, and look at this. If you would have put these in the stamp set, I would have bought it in a hot minute, no problem. Ooh, and look how pretty that is. So that's that same uh, leaf, and then there's these ones. So there are two, I must say these ones a lot. There are two sheets of each. There, oh, there it is. There's the second sheet. This one, there are two strips. So you have all of these little pre-die cut pieces. So I think that if you had some really cool fall pictures or whatever, this would be great for scrapbooking because that's one of the things I like to do in scrapbooking is I don't want to have to do too much work. And I like being able to just punch the little pieces out and, and use them. Look at these little frames. Hold on, I want to get to this one. And so they're like a medium, um, they're heavier than DSP, but a little bit less than cardstock. They're so cute. And, oh, and there's one more. Okay, that's where the flower fell out of. 
Um, and there's another one with all these gold accents. Oh, and there's a little tag. So there is a lot of fun. I might have to just put punch them all out and put them in a little um, cello bag to keep them safe. These are super cute. How much are these? These, six, oh, it's only $6 for 40 pre-cut pieces. So I don't think that's too bad. And that little owl, mm, I'm afraid to use it because I like it so much. You know how you want to keep something? Hi, Kathy. Yes, Roz, you are right. It does show better in person, and uh, uh, luckily it shows good on video. In the catalog, I don't think it looks as nice as it is. And so I only bought one pack of this because I wanted to see what it looked like. But I love, and this leaf, oh my goodness. Why didn't they make that the stamp? I'll show you the stamp. Now, you might like the stamp. Let me show you. I just had to choose one because I knew I wasn't going to use both. Um, where? Oh, here it is. So it's one of these leafy things. There's a little bird. He's on one of the papers. I'm here for you. There's a little blotchy stamp. Um, a really big phrase. What does it say? The changing of leaves reminds us of new wonders oh that new wonders are just around the corner now that would be cute for framed art actually that would be very cute um i know this is a difficult day like you know you got to send some condolences some people are just likable you're one of those people so it's really cute and it has the big things but i have a lot that were similar so i decided to get the other one but it's super nice okay so let me show you my first card and then we're gonna take the same paper and make something a little different. Where am I gonna put all of these cute little pieces? Um, ooh, you know what would probably even be better than a cello bag? Those little, like a, a wood stamp case, or you know, I buy like the ones from Michaels. I'll, I'll look, I think I have one I can put all this stuff in. So hopefully I don't mess it up. All right, so let me show you my first card. Look at this cute card. How pretty is that? This is um, the non-shiny side of the paper. Which paper is it? Oh, it's this one. So this is one side, and then look, the other side has the, hmm, is that Blackberry Bliss? Let's look. I've got all this extra paper out here. Ooh, doesn't that look pretty? So you can go either way, but I thought that sometimes you gotta have uh, some nice masculine cards in your stock, because those are the ones I think we tend to not have enough of. So I like that. And this was that uh, happy birthday set. Well, it's not, it's called Biggest Wish. Biggest wish. <laughs> I like people are discussing how they didn't get this at first and then they are seeing it come out now. And especially in the US because we didn't have the paper. Um, so there were less samples and now I've seen lots of samples. And I've seen some people taking this free paper. So say you order this suite, um, you could get this free paper and they're coloring this with spritzers or markers. I think I have Blackberry Bliss. Nope, that's Razzleberry. Hold on, let me go one more marker over. Yes, so look at this. What if, you guys are gonna laugh. I have clean grid paper, it's always hard when it's clean. What if you colored your free glimmer paper very gently with a spritzer or your Stampin' Blend? I'm just gonna get the corner. Then you could have sparkle, colored sparkle to go with it. Ooh, that's gonna be really nice so very cool but um, I've seen a lot of people pairing it with the sparkle paper okay so let's make a card together and we're gonna take the same base and we are just gonna add on right so we're gonna start with the same this um, I don't know what do you call this herringbone print or zigzag print oh I cut that a little bit choppy I think I need to sharpen my uh, trimmer if you have a trimmer where you don't change the blades if you cut foil with it, it will um, sharpen it. I have the old, old Stampin' Up, well, it can't be too old. It's like six or seven years old. Stampin' Up guillotine one where you cut the thing. And ooh, sometimes I just need to sharpen it up. Okay, so we're gonna put this on. And then we're gonna add a layer because you, know, you may have heard that I like a few layers. All right, it went on medium, medium straight, <laughs> medium straight. Okay, and then we have the early espresso base. Okay, get a bone folder here. I love early espresso. I love everything. Now, all about Blackberry Bliss. I don't know if I love Blackberry Bliss. I think I could be friends with Blackberry Bliss, but I don't know that it's my favorite. Okay, and so then I cut. Um, 
this one with the leaves. Ooh, although that's really pretty, but I need some sparkle. And it is cut to three and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. So then the piece of cinnamon cider is, ooh, maybe I should use, you know what, we're gonna try a piece of, uh, just in case, because it won't take but a second. We're gonna see if we should actually be using early espresso. Get a tri trimmer. Oh good, I was just afraid that the trimmer wasn't here. So I can cut this to, uh, I'll cut it to four, four by three. But I thought we should add a little sparkle to our card. And then three just in case this color goes better. Ooh. All right, I'm throwing paper on the floor. Let's look, because this is gonna go on. Hmm, hmm. I, I think the cinnamon cider, I think I like that better. That's what this, I love cinnamon cider. Yeah, I like that better, but I just wanted to double check and make sure. I just wanted to check and make sure. Okay, and then from my set that I did get, let me show you this. Nature's Harvest. This is the one I got. I have not actually used the stamp set, but, um, oh, so all my late coming friends, at the beginning of this video, I showed, you know what, I'll show it one more time. I know I didn't have everybody here. I wanna show you this, these dies in action. Look at this. Here is my sunflower banner, but look. These are the Harvest Meadow dies and the, the paper that coordinates with it. But this one right here is my favorite. That and the Coneflower, I think. Um, I have uh, four of these left, so if anybody wants one, let me know. But I cut out of the vellum this little, I don't know, what is it? Grass thing? Yes. Oh, that's going to look really pretty. Okay. And then I got out my brush metallic adhesive backed dots. That is a, that is a name. Brush metallic adhesive backed dots. Say it three times really fast. Um, and we're going to use this thank you. Okay. So let's look in our little pile here. Hey, Darlene. Let's look in our little pile here. Where's the thank you? So we got to find one of these pre done ones that will hold our thank you because there are a lot and I know Ah, here we go. Oh, so actually this gold one I got out should work. Oh, but you know what? I want this one with the early espresso back. Let's check it out. I think it'll fit. All right, we're gonna hope that that fits. I'm so messy in my crafting. I saw someone post, you know, what kind of crafter are you? And some people are just more naturally, um, we'll go cinnamon cider, naturally good at cleaning up. I do clean up for sure but it gets messy in the process because I get so many things out. I get excited. All right, let's stamp this. And I'm still worth my scrap. I'm totally not gonna make my grid paper messy tonight. Let me check. Oh, that is really pretty. Let's put this on here. I am pretty darn sure that that will fit. Ooh, okay, I'm a little high, but I, I, it's within the realm of using it. I can't pick it up, but I could use it. Look at that. That is super cute. I love this little font. What is that? And then there's a good luck. Hmm, I don't know what you need a good luck for, but I like the way they wrote it. Okay, so we've got that. Let's put some paper together, and we're going to add some gold. I mean, we're going all out on this one. We're going to add some gold ribbon. We are just going to have a time. Hi, Marcy. Welcome. Yay. Hey, I'm so glad some people can hang out with me on a Monday. And this way, if you haven't ordered this suite, you can do it. And you can order it individually, you know, like I did. I left out the stamp set and the dies because I got different ones that I thought would work with this. But there we go. Okay, that goes on. We're going to put ribbon around that, so we're not going to attach that. Ooh, I did already attach that. How nice of me. Okay, and then let's attach this. I'm getting bold. And since I'm putting a lot of stuff on there, I'm gonna make sure. I did my adhesive a little, a little, not my best, not my best, my friends. 
All right, now let's put this on here. So see, our base is the same as that more simple card I just showed you, but now we're gonna have a little fun. Okay, so we need some ribbon. So uh, my go-to on this size is 10 inches. I already know that, so, but I'll show you how to, actually, I should show you this every time. So this is how you met, oh, that ribbon's so pretty. A little bit bigger than your piece, and then the width of your piece if it's small, and then that should be, okay, that comes to nine, nine-ish, so I usually just go 10, just to make sure. Okay, let's lay this out. Ooh, ooh, my little thing got caught. Okay, so I think this will have to go under, and maybe to the side. I feel like we need more than just this little piece. This is really little. Although, look at that. That looks kind of cute, just like that. And then we pop that on our card, and the knot will be right here. I'm actually all right with that. I was gonna add more, but I don't think I need to. Okay, so let's get our ribbon on here. Yeah, and I can tuck that under. I just had to pause and think. It's such a tricky thing every once in a while. All right, so we're gonna put our ribbon on. So put your adhesive at the edge, and then just put about a half inch to an inch of ribbon. Oops, I need some more adhesive here. Into your adhesive. And then flip it over, bring it to the side. Decide, <laughs> this little piece, I should put dimensionals on it now. I can't even pick it up. Okay, that that is gonna go there. Okay, so I think that's fine. Snip your, hey Deb, welcome. Good. Snip your ribbon and then tie it in a knot. If you're going to do a bow, you would need a longer piece, okay? But for a knot, this works nicely. Even if you have big fingers like me, you should be able to tie it. Oh, it's so pretty. I know. I know. I get excited. And then that is going to go on there. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on. And then I will show you. I saw my friend Marsha post um, some cards where she just used three strips of DSP and a lot of white space and it was so pretty and I think this paper would look really well. I wonder should we pair this with white or with very vanilla would look really pretty. This is white so I guess they did pair it with white. All right and then we're going to take our little vellum little guys and they are oh, they're going to go under there. Okay so what we're going to do is on the wider parts, we're gonna put glue dots. Oh, I'm so glad, Marcy, you learned. That is the sneaky ribbon way where you don't waste as much and it's easier if um, you're doing a bow and you get it crooked, you just keep tying it again and again. Yeah, I learned that, I don't, I've learned it from a couple different demos way, way back in the day and I have done it forever like that. I just really like it because then you can adjust how high or low it is. You can have a lot of fun with that, okay. This little guy is delicate, so what I'm wondering is, should I, oh, hmm, interesting, it's vellum. You know vellum shows the glue dots, so maybe I should have chosen something different. Oh, no, it's gonna be fine. Oh, it's so pretty. I hope you guys can see how sparkly this is. And I just gotta make sure that, okay, so, yeah, you can see the vellum, the glue dots just a little. And I think I'm gonna leave those like that. And then this little guy's gonna come here. So here's the thing, I don't like to put dimensionals on top of ribbon. I don't think it works as well. But I can put dimensionals at the bottom. So I'm gonna use these little mini ones. Or you could use, um, just trim off little bits. Hopefully these will fit. Okay. Take off the backs. Oops, I got one that's hanging off, so I'm just gonna trim it. There we go, took that little piece off. No one will ever know. And then I'm gonna put that right there, because I like having the ribbon poke up above it. And I'm gonna trim this down. You always do have to waste a little bit of ribbon because you need enough to tie it. There we go, so that can go, oh, it's so sparkly. You're gonna laugh. I feel like I had a Barbie doll and she had a top made out of this ribbon way, way back in the day. And then we need some gold dots. We really do. 
And I'm just gonna go three, keep it simple. These leaves are so pretty. Who knew that I liked gold sparkle quite so much? I'm gonna put that there so you can see it. And look at that card. Oh my goodness, my friends, look at it. So shiny, so sparkly. I mean, who wouldn't wanna get a thank you card like that in the mail? I would like to get that in the mail. That is really pretty. And then look at it this way, where it's just nice and simple. Super cute, super, super cute. Okay, how long has it been? 25 minutes, all right, we can do this. All right, so I'm gonna show you. I think I should have enough strips. Oh, those are so pretty. Oh, fall colors, I love, see, I, I love all the colors. I like fall colors, I like Christmas colors, I like springy colors, I like summer colors. That I do. Hold on, we're gonna trade this for this. And I'm gonna cut this at five and a quarter because that's probably a size I'll use again so I can get the scrap. <laughs> I have to make the scrap happen. Okay, so we're gonna use that piece. And then I am gonna have to cut one of these other Ooh, wait a minute. I should have a scrap piece with the leaves on it that I just used. I do. All right, so I think between the three, these two pieces, yeah, we'll get three different kinds. Okay, we are gonna go three by three fourths. I think that is what I'm thinking. I really should have looked at Marsha's card again to make sure, but I saw she made like three different versions using little strips and it was super pretty. And I was like, this paper, any any of our papers actually would work wonderfully for this. Oh, thank you, yay, you guys like my card. Oh, that's so cute, I didn't see those comments. I'm just like, t you know, going along and I'm like, oh my gosh, but it is so pretty. Um, and now I use that die, but you could use one of the little pieces in the thing, but I just wanted to show you that gold vellum with something die cut out of it. And I'm gonna do one more, this one, because we're gonna use the other side. It's a little bigger. Okay. There we go. This little piece can go in the trash. But see, this way I can use one of each. All right. So, hold. It's always so hard to pick things up. Okay. We need, I think I'm going to go very vanilla. I have to sometimes make myself use very vanilla. Like, it's not that I don't like it. I'm just not as drawn to it as I am. I think this can be our card base. Hold on, let me make sure this is five and a half. Nope, that is, I thought it looked a little bigger. I think that's what I cut the other pieces out of the part to go behind the DSPs. So we're gonna cut that quarter inch off of there. So we got a card base. All right, there we go. So we have a card base. We have a card front, and then what I was thinking is we just use, I think I would do it like this. Like I wouldn't put both shiny pieces next to each other. And I'm gonna give them a little space, and then we're gonna find in our little Emephra, I think I said it right, our Emephra pack. Ooh, could I do the owl? Could I part with the owl? Do we have to do it this way? I think we do. This is too big. Let's look. I want it to overlap a little, but so if you have scraps, I think that this is, and if you emboss this back piece, I think that would look really cool. Ooh, that's kind of cute. And then we're gonna stamp something right here at the bottom. That is very cute. All right, do I get brave and stamp it on the background? Good luck, thank you. Sending healing thoughts. May nature's beauty bring peace to your soul. Wow, that's quite a statement, but it's really pretty. I think we're gonna try it. So we need a long block. Hold on, that is not gonna fit on the block I have out. You know what, what are the chances I can stamp that straight? What do you guys think? Should I just stamp it on? Oh, that looks pretty good. <laughs> Dude, I got that straight the first time. Who knew? Okay, let's go Blackberry Bliss. Here's the Blackberry Bliss. Here it is. I haven't used it in a while, so we're going to definitely test it out on a piece of scrap paper. 
Hopefully it's inked up enough. And I'm testing it on this. <laughs> So pretty. Let me do it one more time. Make sure I got it good. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's bring this in so I don't have so many levels. Line that up on my grid paper. Line this up. Okay. I'm afraid. I mean, I can flip it over. If I mess it up, I can flip it over. Excuse me, little guy. It'll be okay. Especially when it's white or vanilla. I've got lots of that. Okay, one, two, one, two, three. Woo, look at that. Yes. Oh, that feels good. Uh, ephemera. Ephemera. Thank you, Marcy. Ephemera. You know what? I also couldn't say peony. <laughs> until we had a peony stamp and I had to learn. I was like, it's like pee, pee knees, pee. <laughs> Wait, I gotta look again. Ephemera, ephemera, ephemera pack. I love ephemera packs, just in case you're wondering. I actually really do. I love um, the little bits. I think they, I love them for scrapbooking a lot. Okay, let's get these relatively straight. So these pieces are, they are three, by three-fourths. There's also, um, you know, some words, ugh, let me get this started. Some words are just hard to say. Now I'm gonna be saying that all the time, Marcy, thank you. Okay, oh, my hand got a little sticky. All right, so I'm gonna like offset these a little bit. Who knows, ooh, is that gonna be straight? I don't know. All right, we're gonna hope I like it straight. You might like it zigzaggy. Occasionally I have to go zigzaggy because I mess it up. <laughs> oh, I am definitely, if um, having the things go crooked is super hard for me. Every once in a while I'll make myself do it, like stamping up somebody in their um, concept artist team makes samples that way all the time. And I can like them, but I can't, I don't like to do it. Anyone who's come to my classes know if they see a, a uh, card where it's a little more zigzaggy. They're like, Audra, what happened? I'm like, I don't know. I tried. I tried to come out of my box of. This is really pretty. Okay. Ooh. Okay, this is super sad. I might give this to my neighbor. Her dad just passed away. And I feel like she would like this. leave room I did leave room yes and this little cutie is going on dimensionals I think I could part with him for my my neighbor <laughs> no Marcy I have not I will have to look that up apparently somebody has a problem saying penguin I can say penguin Let's, I'm gonna go a little crazy here yes uh, my son gives me a super hard time because I say refrigerator and he's like no it's refrigerator or it's fridge you can't like make it be one word you know like change it but I do I can't help it I've been doing it for a long time okay and then this oh wait a minute wait a minute not that gold hold on let's see the um this gold what if took a piece and we circled it up so apparently I can't keep the simple card simple I have to add a little bit it is still very simple and we put that on there let's see now of course I took the things off oh yeah I think it'll work okay so we're gonna put a little adhesive here did I get it on there okay and then we've got this I'm gonna I'm trying to decide, should I do the big one with the pinch in the middle or should I do the lasso? I'm gonna go with the pinch in the middle. Both are good, I like both ways. And it needs to go here, right? Because then this guy is, oh yeah, look at that. Okay, and then we're gonna put this on our card front and we may possibly add some of those gold 
gold, uh, the things with the long name, those gold adhesive dots. I don't remember what they're called. Metallic. Okay. Oh, this is so pretty too. All right. So this is going to be one of my new favorite card things, three little strips. So we should all thank my friend Marsha and I'm pretty sure she got it from Connie or somebody else too. Look at that card. All right. Let's bring these in. Ah, we're going to put that one there. And then we're going to put... Ooh, I'm dropping them. That one there. That one there. Look at that. Oh my goodness, look how pretty that is. That is really nice. Mm, I wish I had a stamp of that guy. Okay, so let me show you all my cards, and then I'll send you on your way. I've lost all my cards. All right, so here's super simple, nice and masculine looking. Actually, I think this one you could give it to a dude, too. It would be fine. And then that one with all of the pretty stuff on it, but not a lot of pretty stuff, just basic pretty stuff, and then there you go. So the Blackberry Bliss, no, Blackberry Beauty um, suite, you should check it out. Uh, if you want a paper share where you get, um, you'd get a quarter pack of this paper, let me know because I have two paper shares left. I'll be cutting them. They'll go out in the mail by Friday. Um, if you want to, of course, order any of this part of the suite, feel free to do so. And remember, when you get to $50, you get um, to pick free items. Use this host code to order from me, audremonk.stampinup.net. Oh, I didn't, normally I write that on here really pretty. I did not write it on my clean grid paper. Um, so if there's anything else you need to know, just let me know. I hope that you enjoy these cards. I'll take pictures and post them in the morning. And oh, yay, everybody likes my card too. I'm so glad you guys like these cards. Um, awesome, 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 awesome. So thank you for spending a little bit of time with me. Um, I will see you uh, Wednesday is 1130 crafting and Fridays at five. And yoga is either Tuesday or Wednesday at two. So if you're looking for me, if it pops up and you can do it, click watch and see what I'm talking about. I'm sure it'll be super fun. Um, otherwise, watch it on the replay. Give me a like, give me a love. Let me know that you're watching. I appreciate you and stay crafty.